Yo, 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 what it do, what it do, nephew. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another um, Dying to See Me podcast featuring yours truly, the one and only Matt Montague. I'm joined today by Gabe Yanez, who is the owner, creator um, of Cruiser Brand and original Horny Gang member. Horny Gang. Big Horny life. Gang, right? Big Horny. Big always. Horny. Keep it Horny. Um, so Gabe, let's get into a couple of things. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about, uh, you know, your lifestyle, how you got into fucking cruiser brand and, um, yeah, let's make it happen. Pimpin. Yeah. So when was cruiser brand fucking founded and started? Uh, we started two years ago. Um, it was actually a COVID project. Mm. You know, the COVID shit came out. Um, my partner Vince, who's my partner with cruiser brand mm. incredible artist i had him make me some t-shirts mm -hmm. um and that was for my gabe's custom things from all my car is, selling is, flipping is, buying is he your life partner as well uh you know we've been talking about it we're starting to get more serious i like it i like we're, it uh we've become sexually involved how does your wife feel about that <sighs> you know she gets a little jealous mm -hmm. shout out um, to shani Sherry, sorry. Sherry, yeah, whatever her name Shani, is. Shani, whatever. Uh, yeah, she's cool. She's, she's a nice good. gal. She's a nice gal. So, a little weird, but, you know, she's become more accepting of it. Accepting. Yeah, so it's nice. Yeah. It's very nice. So COVID project. Uh, yeah, COVID project. Um, I said, hey, let's sell some T-shirts. He had some designs. We got together. We made it happen. Uh, we went and did. We're car guys, just like how I met you. Um, we did a swap meet. Made like two thousand dollars in like three hours, and we're like, "Okay, I think we're fucking onto something here." Yeah, yeah. So then we've just we've been growing ever since. Now we're in other countries, other continents. Sick. Uh, it's pretty cool, and it's just been our project that we enjoy. We love what we do. Yeah. So you started this during COVID. Um, most businesses are not profitable in the first three years, right? That I mean, that's what uh -huh. really happens because you're. You know, you're trying to get the brand out there. You're trying to get people to buy your customer acquisition costs, right? Um, yeah. Is Cruiser Brand a profitable company for you at this point? We ha to call it profitable. I mean, it's not like I'm not making fucking hundreds of thousands. Mm -hmm. But what we have done is we've invested everything right back into ourselves. So good. We're sitting on like a serious inventory, right? And now we're looking at our own printing equipment. We're looking into uh, DTG garment printing, um, and now design. We love the design aspect, so we want to start designing for other people and printing for other people. And yeah, so it's growing in that aspect. Um, yeah, I think it bought me dinner once or twice. There uh, you go, like good little steak little, dinners. Little dinner, dude. You know, we like dinner. So, yeah. <laughs> um, you and I met. What year was that that we met? God, I at least 10, 11 years ago. Yeah, I was. I think that. I already had Sarah, so I had my first daughter. Yeah, she was a baby though, very Probably. very young. Yeah, I'd say about ten years ago. 10 How old Sarah? Ago. Ten now. She'll be eleven. Eleven this summer. Yeah. And then you have Sunny. Sunny How old is Sunny? Six year old. Sunny six. Six. So baby. we met, um, and I was with this car club, and you guys were in San Fernando Valley, right? Yeah, we found a San Fernando Valley yeah. chapter, and you wanted to. First, you joined my chapter, right? And then, yeah. you know, um, I helped facilitate to get you that San Fernando chapter. And um, even when I left and you left both, we just stayed on the same page. Yeah. Like, real close, man. We've become pretty fucking close. Horny gang. We're, uh, <laughs> everything we do, we're the same, <laughs> yeah. same shit bags. Yeah, dude. I think. Uh, right down to our politics, everything yeah, aligns. So. I, think, I think everything, um, you know, you you don't have a filter. I do not have a filter. No, I no. think our politics are in line. I think uh, you and me in the same room is pretty fucking obnoxious to some people. Oh yeah, yeah. We can uh, we can make we some can ruffle the feathers. That's for sure. Yeah, we like it. Too. Feather duster on my back. Yeah. <laughs> as long as he's feeding me grapes. I've right? always had a a spoon, a little wooden spoon, because everyone's like, "Gigs yeah. is such a shit." Stir, stir it up. Pull fucking, it right out of your back where's pocket. Where's my spoon? Uh, okay, I got this. Do you remember when you were doing? <clears throat> I think you owned the uh, part of that construction company with one of your buddies. You remember yeah, that? Standard and Construction. Standard Construction. Yeah, oh, we gee. Doing it, yeah. Dude. Yeah. And we fucking had that crime scene 
up in Palmdale where that fucking dude smoked or tried to smoke his old lady memory shot her like six times yeah. and then they shot tear gas in there and they fucked him up and he finally shot himself do you remember um how fucked up that house was that house was wrecked i remember fuck dude i remember the walking up to the house the blood on the sidewalk gnarly the fucking uh swat team truck Tire, tire prints in the, in the, fucking, the front yard dude in the lawn remember yeah, that the front lawn fucking was broken wasted. windows i mean it was like blood fucking i, I mean, remember you had cut out i think almost all the blood right but to see what you had to cut out right i remember me i'm a i do construction yeah. carpenter that's kind of my background too but seeing all the shit you cut out, I'm like, how the fuck am I going to fix all this shit? It I remember telling everywhere. you, too, like, hey, man, I got this fucking job for you. Um, it's going to be perfect. I told you what happened. You're like, get the fuck out of here. And then you showed up and you were just like, I think it was probably the fucking one and only time I've ever seen you speechless and not being. You were just like, what? Dude, I, it, the I, had fuck? It, I remember walking in. I had to take it all in. I'm like, fuck. Oh fuck! And you're telling me the story. I think we even had to put like hazmat suits and boots on or some shit. Yeah, we had to suit up. Yep. And I remember walking around the house like, damn, this was fucked up. Yeah, dude. She fucked up. She must have fucked up. I think so. Because I, I, yeah, I, and he was a he was a fucking her. correction officer. He was like yeah. a like a fucking captain or something. Yeah, I almost became a, a CA. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. I, I I was gonna um I was gonna be. Some sort of law enforcement, and then uh, I mean, I realized I wasn't gay, so yeah, I said, "Fuck it, yeah, 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 <laughs> I'm just kidding." Yeah. Shout, Shout out, out to the sheriff's department. Shout out to the sheriff's department. <laughs> <laughs> Love fucking, you guys. Just fucking around. Love you guys. Yeah, just Come on, just jokes here. Yeah, we just got jokes hey, over they're here. They're not gay. They're bi. Big yeah, a little bi. Little Big bi. difference. Um, what cars do you have in your arsenal now? I like you're like me, right? You will get a fucking car. And you'll have it about, I don't know. I mean, we're t let's be honest, let's, right? Let's say six months is like a, I mean, I, that's a pushing long it, run, right? A that's long pushing run. it. Me and me and uh, <coughs> Brian Moore, shout out to Brian. Uh, talk about how the fuck you go through all these cars and you have to lose your dick. I, I mean, you I, obviously you're not going to tell me, right? Because no, you got to no, hold like, up that image a little bit. But goddamn, bro, you go through some shit. I I buy smart. Okay, um, I, I think everything through. I do my research. Okay, I mean I'll sit on the shitter for like thirty minutes. Yeah, shout out to my legs for falling asleep all day. Uh, and I will shop, shop, shop. Like I, you know what? It started when I was a kid. I used to fucking ride my scooter down to the liquor store, pick up an Auto Trader, mm. and just oh, old yeah. school Auto Trader all day. Do you remember that? Yeah, they printed them, bro. This that was like shit, nah, like this yeah, before shit. Craigslist, before all that shit. Auto Trader, auto and the recycler. They had Auto Trader. They had RV Trader. Remember they had yeah. one for motorcycle, the, trader. motorcycle Trader. They had all the fucking and you just be oh yeah, yeah. I used to fucking save my lunch money to go buy an Auto Trader. Yeah, yeah, and I would hunt. But yeah, now fast forward. I mean, I do it online. Yeah, and I mean, fuck. Last month, I sold my wife's Benz, the right. 500. Yeah. I bought her an Escalade. I sold my 2500 Duramax. I bought a High Country 3500. And then I just, last week, I, I had a Scat Pack wide body. Dude, I had that car six months. I put 2,200 miles on it. And I was like, okay, this thing's just... This, the Scat Pack? Yeah, the Scatty. And I traded in for a Jeep. Mm. And I just so, called the dealer. I'm like, "Hey, come pick this thing up. Bring me that thing." Yeah, the scat I'll pack. Sign my office. Yeah. yeah. So um, now, I know you probably don't want to tell everybody this, but but the real reason you got rid of the scat pack is because you wanted no part of the CTSV. Is that? I mean, let's be, let's just be honest for once. You wanted no part <laughs> of my CTS fucking V. Uh, you know the V sick. Uh, hands down, my favorite car. Thank you, thank you. And then uh, you just want to know part of it. You being the piece of shit that you are, yeah. you showed up with one, and I was like, all right, well, yeah. You know, and you and your best uh, friend, uh, my, Lucy Luce, my best he friend has one. Carlitos. Yeah, that guy, Lucy he, has one. He picked one up, right? So, I'm but just, his is stock, right? Uh, no, I think he did a little exhaust action. Yeah, but um, I mean, he's not doing what I'm he's doing. He's got a little. Um, Shots fired, Carlos. Shots fired. Shots fired. He's ready to run. Run for pinks. 
Yeah, exhaust. Yeah, that's about that's, it. That's so he's it. just—I mean, he's—he's he's barely. I mean, over. It's cute. It's, it's yeah, it's cute. Sounds good. It's, it's a beautiful car. Sounds like a fucking herd uh, of West Nile fucking mosquitoes. Yeah, <laughs> it makes some fucking right, noise. Right, right. And shout out to fucking Dago Dane, man. That fucking car is amazing. I bought it from you know, you know, Dane's been my boy. Yeah, yeah. He was in. The fucking same club that we talked about, and we're not yeah. gonna mention any names, because yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we've all uh, we kind of all met there, and then yeah, just right, kind of, and then we kind of did our own thing. Yeah, the real, the real ones kind of separated because they knew yeah, nonsense. You know, just you know, and then um, we had a what is it, rec- irreconcilable differences? You know, little. Thing. I mean, if that is that really what we're calling it? I mean, I think we're just gonna call it straight bullshit. I mean, yeah, there's some of that too. So, um, yeah, Dane, man, a good dude, man. He, he, engra- he fucking engraved a uh, Beretta for me. Uh-huh. And, dude, it came out. Did I show it to you? I didn't see it. Sick as fuck, I'm bro. Right. I, was, I want to send him my 380. Chrome and go. Okay, first of all, um, we're going to edit that out, Travis, because uh, we're never going to tell anybody that Gabe has a 380. A w- fucking woman's gun, but anyway, um, my wife let me borrow it. Thanks, oh, honey. she did. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Shout out, honey. Shout out, <laughs> Sherry. Um, yeah, dude, it came out bitching. And when he, when we first talked about it, he said, "Hey, man, um, you know, let's chrome it, let's gold it." And I'm like, "Bro, listen, I don't want no Liberace shit. This yeah. is just not my I like, status." I like the Liberace shit, dude. It came out fucking amazing. So it came out good. Um, I gotta check that out. I Make actually sure. sent him. Um, two other of my guns to get done. Oh no shit! Yeah, yeah, he's doing them right now. So uh, we'll talk prices after. I want to send a couple. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this bitch just in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. What? So anyway, your arsenal of cars. What cars do you have in your fleet as we speak? Uh, just right now, I've toned it down. Um, I got an Escalade. That's the kid fucking mover. The little booger. A little booger wipers wipe their boogers and that thing. Uh, my high country, 3,500. And of course, everything's lifted, wheels, tires. I Can't be stuck. I, I have a sickness. I have, like, the second I buy a car, I, I'll buy cars and I'm already ordering parts before the car even gets here. It's a it's, sickness. It's pretty bad, yeah. You ought to check yourself in somewhere. Uh, you know, if there was somewhere to check in, I yeah. probably should. Yeah, because, you know, I cannot drive a stock vehicle i get it my oc fucking d would it would it. literally i will pick it up and the minute that i pick it up i will drive it straight over to the tint to shop. get tint, tint shop first well tint and and stereo right next door yeah. to each other for me <laughs> oh, that's so just bang bang yeah jump out of there next day <coughs> fucking rims it, it's already i get it i mean i i just don't I don't even. I don't think I even told you. I have a wholesale account for wheels and tires and lift kits. Now. Yeah, yeah. You told me. You so told me. Yeah. I, that's how bad my sickness is. Is I was. You like, had to get a wholesale. I just account. do it myself, dude. Oh Fuck my you god. Guys. Yeah. And it's under www.gayguy.org. Is that? Yeah. Is that yeah, the one yeah. you're using now? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. love it. Big yeah. horny. Slash grinder. How many different styles of um, or SKUs do you have for cruiser brands, such as different uh, shirts and d- different styles, I should say? Um, well, styles, I would say it's all our style. It's mm-hmm. all, I mean, it's a lifestyle for us. We're car guys. We're, I like to say, you know, we're kind of not from the 90s. We love the 90s. Mm-hmm. So we do a lot of the mini truck and right. a lot of the... We're bringing all that shit back because it's the shit we like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the BMX shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're into all the, the old BMX school stuff. fucking Diamondback. Just the stuff when we were kids. Yeah. That was tight. Right, right. We're like, yeah, we're yeah bring, bring it back. Yeah. We're going to bring some of that back. Yeah, like the mini truck and shirt you got on. I like that. Yeah, this is the one of our designs. Fucking straight pink and... Uh, pink and teal, And dude. teal is... I mean, 90s, if you don't have that in a fucking... Um, and a bob wire tattoo around your fucking arm. That's like yeah, really that's, where it's that's at. Pretty Pam mandatory. Anderson type shit. That's Mando. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's, we have, um, I don't even know how many to be exact, but we're also doing kids, women's. Um, women's have been, let me tell you, dude, these bitches are annoying and they want to touch everything and they want to like hold it and feel it. Like you go to a t shirt, so what do you do? You just grab your size, right? And you're done. I grab my size and that's it. Yeah, we're, we're on the way. That's what we do. Yeah. That's what guys do. But we, we also, we're, we're, we're animals, right? We think differently than, than chicks, right? When well, we, yeah, we have common sense. We're sides. visual, right? Like yeah. chick walks by, big old titties, hot. You're like, huh. Yeah. Right? But we don't go over there and, and like, oh, you know, do you have an education? Do you have, no, we're just worried about getting in them drawers. No. Now, though, I, I like checking credit, dude. Do a little credit check. 
Get you a little further. I mean, for what? Let's talk. What, what, what are well, you checking credit for? I'm saying you should. So what you're saying is, is even if they're hot as fuck, right? Mm. Hot. You give a fuck about their credit? I don't think you do. No, probably not. Yeah. Let's be honest, right? And if it's a dude, I mean, you don't care at all, If right? it's a dude, it doesn't matter. It's yeah. Man go Ranch, <laughs> Boy go, Butter. Go time. Brogurt, the whole fucking Dude time down. is go time. Yeah. That's, that's the way time. <laughs> Um, so you work obviously cruiser brand is not your main um income right no Uh, where else do you work uh i work in the film industry i'm a labor foreman in Mm. the film industry so i do work with construction um i'm in charge of trucks drivers logistics um I always say there's nothing a labor doesn't do. So for movies, you do movies, TV shows, both? Movies and TV. Movies and TV. Sometimes commercial. Mm -hmm. Um, I've done music videos. I'll never do one again. Mm. I don't. It's rough. It's not my thing. Gotcha. Um, uh, So you work for a studio? Yeah. Are you allowed to say what it is? Yeah. Well, I'm a Hollywood labor. Hollywood. So my union is a Hollywood labor union. Yeah. Union Shout what? out 724. 724. Big 724. Shout out to all the boys. Yes. They know yes. who they are. 724. We're, a, we're an elite crew of yeah. laborers. Yeah. I um, actually had somebody on my last podcast uh, in the comment section say, hey, um, I work with Gabe and he told me to come check it out. Oh, Good really? Luck. Yeah. It was dope. I was That's like, cool. oh, look at Gabe. Yeah. We're tight, dude. We're I could say we're a tight union. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, what um, what cars do you have that are non traditional right now? Uh, right now, my only like uh, I would call it my toy, my my lowrider, my my one car is my forty seven Cadillac. Mm. So I got a nineteen forty seven Cadillac uh, convertible. Rare. Oh, you got the vert vert. It's a drop top. What? Uh, it's a rare fucking car. It's a big money car. It's a big money car. It's Let's uh, be honest. It's airbag. Sought after like a motherfucker. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of the. It was. Everyone asked me what's my dream car. Right. I've, I could say I've had all of them now. Mm-hmm. But the one that I was like, okay, the next on my list is a forty-seven convertible. Must have. I just had to have it, and then now I got it. So Fuck forty-seven convertible. Would be. It's quite a fucking piece of yeah, work, dude. Yeah, it's, but, I, but. Is it stock? Oh, no, no, you airbagged it, No, right? it's airbagged. It's custom painted. Um, I just had it all. My boy Brian just did all the uh, polishing on it, paint correction. Um, he went through it. It's got a big block 500 Caddy engine. You know that engine. Big, that's the big boy. That's the big boy right there. And, uh, yeah, it's on wire wheels. It's clean. Yeah. yeah. You can check it out. It's online. Everyone will see it. It'll be up for sale soon. Oh, yeah. You, you know put me. it up, huh? You know me. I'm like, hey. how long have you had it? A week? Two weeks? Uh, I got it back on the road two weeks ago. Yeah. But how long but have you I've owned it? I've had it for maybe four months, six months. Yeah. It's that's, about that time. Yeah. It's fucking things old to me. So if you sell it, what will be your next car? I don't know. I haven't even. Nothing in the You know what I want? Line? I want. I'll tell you this. I'm going to buy a 65 Impala. Super Sport. That's what convertible, I convertible. I want yeah, a sixty-five. Dude. Yeah, those fucking tail lights, dude. Just yeah. And I, I have never had an Impala. Oh I've, no, huh? I've had probably two hundred Cadillacs. Mm-hmm. Never had an Impala. My very, very, very first car was a nineteen sixty-three Impala four door. Ooh. With I went to Red's Hydraulics back in the day down in Long Beach. Yeah, yeah. Got the fucking kit. Got it. Fucking. Um, Got it installed, and one of the pumps didn't work, so I only had the ass end. <laughs> I love that Dude, Reds, car. I remember I used to steal my sister's lowrider magazines as a kid. Shout out to my sister. Oh, yeah. Big Flocka. Big Flocka, oh. la giggles gang. <laughs> <laughs> but I've always, I'm a fucking car guy since yeah. I was a kid. Yeah. But I used to steal her lowrider magazines, yeah. and that was part of my automotive sickness too yeah i um and reds i used to check out the reds uh 
article. The Reds ads? The yeah. ads. I was like, oh, look at that. I think they went that. to jail for murder or something like that. Did he? The two brothers, the, the Samoan dudes, I think they went to jail. Uh, or something happened. Yeah. I don't fucking know. I don't care, but it was free, pretty. Free Reds. Free yeah. Reds. Yeah, free Reds. <laughs> <laughs> free the homies. Um, yeah, man. My fucking. So, you know, I have that 64 convertible Impala. Oh, and I'll beautiful tell you what. Fucking car, dude, thank you. I love thank that you. car. I, um, fuck, bro. I Owning a convertible, it's like. It's uh, you can't go back to a hard There's top, right? You're just better. stuck. And people better. like Trevor will tell me, "Hey, man, like let's put the fucking top up. It's cold." I'm like, "You don't put a fucking top up in a convertible. What's wrong with you? Pussy. Yeah, don't be a fucking it's cunt. cold. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, so um, I get it. Yeah. Love that car. I do love that car. Um, I also have the the big body caddy, which is cool just to jump in and fucking yeah. jam around, dick all around. What's your? Uh, let's say you sell the '64. What are you gonna get? Fifty nine. I mean, it would either be a 59 convertible or a 61 convertible. Okay. All right. Yeah. And Paula, like, that would be... The next. That would be for the sure next the one. next. I don't know that I would sell this. You know, I, I ponder going back and forth with the 64, but then I, I, like, I'm like, you know what, man? I'm done. I'm going to sell it. And then I'm just like, I drive it one fucking day or I'll hit three wheel or something. And I'm like, oh. It's like shooting my load in my ha- pants. They have the way of doing that to us. It's crazy, bro. I won't touch my car for like, Two weeks and I'm busy, you know, I'm busy with life, work, wife, kids. Um, and I'm like, fuck this car, I'm gonna sell it, I want the money. And then I drive it and I'm like, fuck. All right, this bitch just bought another two weeks in the garage. Yeah, right? <laughs> like you just, it, yeah. They do that to you. Yeah. There's nothing else like it other than owning a boat. Well, we had a boat together, yeah. remember that? Yeah, that was a good time. We would time. go out and fucking go, check out go, dudes go together. Party remember, on the try river, to, all yeah. the banana hammocks on yeah. the boat. Yeah. yeah, try to get naked and remember, thongs. Remember when we had the upholstery done? We were just talking oh, about yeah, this. yeah, tell that story. It, That's a great story. So we get the upholstery done. We're, Roberto. Yeah, we. Matt finds this guy. We're like, all right, I want this, I want that. And me and Matt, we're the same, very dominant, very fucking alpha male. So yes. we start fighting with each other over the interior at this guy's shop yelling we're screaming and throwing shit (laughs) yeah fucking around i'm in the boat like fucking i remember i like took off my sandal and i threw my chancla at you (laughs) the fucking guy's like ducking out behind the boat freaking out and then even my dad is like what is going on because my dad was with me yeah and he's like what the fuck and that guy looks at my dad and he's like they're gonna give me a fucking heart attack yeah, and then we laughed and hugged. Yeah, out. and then we laughed and like fucking... five minutes later. Shout out to Senior. Oh, Gabe Senior. Yeah, my Mr. daddy. Senior, man. Fucking legend, dude. Legend. Dad's a legend. Yeah, yeah, that's my guy. Your mom got married uh, the other day, right? Saturday. Yeah. I got a new dad, dude. How and you I got about two that? dads. Uh, I'm good with it. I like him. He's a nice guy. If he tries to touch your pee pee, are you going to let him? Uh, if he tries or if he already did? Oh, he did. Oh, Wait, we're not gonna go. Yeah, there. we're not gonna go there. Um, he tar- he touched your little aardvark. I mean, I mean, your little, gonna, your little aunt here. I mean, I'm not gonna stop him. <laughs> right. I mean, a right. good time's a good it, time. Yeah, good time's a good time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she got married. I'm happy for her. Fuck, she looked beautiful. Good. We had a good time. Right on. We partied. Right on. We were at the, uh, down in Long Beach, so it was nice. Oh, good. Good yeah. for her. Good for her. Yeah. And this is her second marriage. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't know if she's. Yeah, I'll see. Yeah, yeah. I don't so, know. Yeah, who cares? I mean, right? it's it's fucking, it is whatever. Yeah. Um, on on cruiser brand, right? Where do you see cruiser brand in the next two years? Uh, next two years? Yeah, like honestly, we, I don't. Not where I see where we will be. Okay, is uh, I want to be printing. Mm-hmm. I want to be a full print shop. Mm-hmm. Um, I want my partner Vince to be full time designing. Um. And just pumping out, dude. We're already all over the world. Yeah. Um, but more volume, more shows. Right. We love. So what's fun for me is, back to the car thing is, you know, we always used to go to car shows, right? We did a lot of car shows. You get fucking bored. Let's, let's be honest. You 100%. get pretty boring. Uh, I would wrap my car up, say, I've had enough. See you later. But now I turn it into a thing where, okay, I bring my car. I show my car, I bring our setup, so I have a whole merch trailer, I pull in with my trailer, I set up, so now I'm showing my car and I'm selling merch. So it turned the car show thing into me for like, well, fuck, now we can have fun and make some money. Sure. 
and it's dude we have a blast yeah i mean meeting people talking to people um showing them the clothes and, yeah and the reactions where people are like dude this is badass or yeah i've seen you guys here i've seen you there um we're already recognized in the car community right um we threw our a show so we threw a show this last summer and we got on uh i forget which channel but we were on a tv show a uh, full custom garage right so my partner's uncle that's his show he's on the show okay and we got on that show just from our car show right so it's becoming i mean the household ball. name Good yeah for you. I mean, we're in yeah. we're in the scene yeah you know when i go to car shows man um i've always been a car guy since i was a fucking kid and um when we were in that club together you know i was i was on the board and all this other nonsense now i'm in a club um to where i'm just a member mm-hmm. i go in i pay my dues i can come and go as i please it's nice huh yeah none of the fucking <laughs> i don't have to worry oh shout out to majestic's high desert oh the whoa. big m big high m. desert there you go um and uh so we don't have to i, I don't have to do shit if i want to come it's, and then i want to bounce I, I, I can do that right i don't have like you said man it can sometimes it can get boring man yeah. sometimes you see the same fuck in cars oh yeah every and fucking week it gets old it does and it then, does get and old. then talking about the same thing to the same people but the same fucking thing yeah. and then you see him a week later and it's like well oh what has changed it's only been a week motherfucker i waxed it yeah f- Stop that's it talking to i me. waxed the car i fucking did, I actually had somebody wax it and that's it yeah oh, yeah i waxed my balls you want to hear about that <laughs> let's talk about Fuck, that let's talk about that's that. a little more interesting yeah. right now yeah, yeah let's get the fucking peach fuzz yeah. off i forgot about that too i was on the worldwide committee I got right. nominated onto that worldwide committee and I was getting calls where like guys are like, Hey Gabe, this guy doesn't want to fucking wear a shirt. And, and this guy is not wearing his hat and, and, he's, and he's not doing this. And I said, well, check it out. It's very simple. This is what we do with my guys in my chapter. Go around back. You fucking fight it out <laughs> and we're done. And we move forward. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. And then these guys are like, Oh, well, well, I don't want to do that. And I'm like, okay, well then. Don't yeah. fucking call me with yeah. this shit. Just politic, man. You know it was I, too much. Yeah, I, I I got in that particular car club when there was literally four chapters. My mine was the um, fourth chapter, mm. and you know I had to beg and plead to get this chapter. And then I'm the reason that we set up that fucking committee. Yeah, r- really, because like it it all fell on one dude at the time and so me and a couple of the other guys all got together and said look this is our our our, our core group and this is what's going to happen and again some fell off some did this some chapters went out whatever yeah. whatever and there's a few of us left but um it, yeah it, bro the fucking calls that i would get from this chapter and that chapter and, and then when i would talk to them or their members about it then i talked to them then i was the fucking bad guy because these two are at it and now yeah. and then they kiss and make up and, and they like, turn oh, on you fucking Matt, fucking well, Matt said this yeah fuck yeah. off cock lickers. I remember I remember Sherry said it perfectly she's like you are on the fucking phone over this car club every day stupid they don't even pay you to do this what are you doing stupid and I was like yeah yeah you're right I'm, oh 100% I'm fucking over that yeah I mean it was I, don't get me wrong right that was a fucking great time of my oh life. I had a blast. I met some solid yeah solid yeah. people um honestly solid people shout out to dan revis dan, right i like dan, dan. cory cory Corey was dude. very fucking solid remember our bro. cory beef i do I <laughs> that was that? funny over a yeah, car why you forget about old shit <laughs> uh, i give cory shout out then you make it I'm all not, about i'm just saying oh, here we go it was one of those times where we we're like fuck you fuck and then you, we're I'm gonna fucking kill you when i see you yeah and then we're and then we again. touch each other's dick yeah and it was and like we made up that's what we do everyone makes up yeah yeah but yeah, um, it was 100% good time. Yeah. It was a good, I mean, we met a lot of good dudes, like you said. 100%, man. And, I met uh, Dane, which Dane is one of the fucking coolest motherfuckers, man. Just a down-to-earth dude, um, solid, solid, solid motherfucker. Yeah, so, okay. um, yeah, I met, I, met, I met Lucy, I met Russell, I met all those motherfuckers. And, and, and Gabe Sr., everyone knows my Gabe dad in the Sr. club, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my dad went with me. To buy my first Cadillac, well, my first mm. '60s Cadillac, because I've right. had some before, whatever. But my first, let's call it old school. Mm-hmm. Um, and we we bought it out in Palmdale, or Lancaster, or whatever, mm-hmm. with from Mike, Big Mike. Yeah. And I remember I met the red one. Yeah. And then you red, sold it to Brian. 
Shout oh. out again to Brian. Brian, that's shout twice. Shout out to Brian. Car fire, listen, Brian. Listen, that's twice that this dude is fucking, I've shot out to him. I think you should so, have him on here. Yeah, no, no, no. He he needs to fucking pay yeah. for some sponsorship. Yeah. He, you know, Lord knows he can afford it. Cheap fucking He's rich a cheap dudes. prick. Fucking these rich dudes. Yeah. But yeah, we I met Big Mike. Uh, we met, we talked. I had a pocket full of cash. I was like, this is, I bought it to marry my wife in it. That's what started yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to drive off in a 64 Cadillac. Yeah. And uh, I remember me and Mike are going back and forth, and my dad, uh, he's like, it was we were down to like a hundred bucks, right? You know, we we hammer our deals out. That's what we do, and we're hammering the deal out, <clears throat> and we're down to like, you know, let's call it ten thousand four hundred, and Mike wants ten five, and I'm like, dude, I'm giving you ten four, and he's like, no, no, I can't, I need ten five, this and that. My dad, after me and Mike were going at it for like five minutes, my dad's like, here's the fucking hundred bucks. <laughs> Over a hundred yeah. fucking dollars, Gabriel. My dad gave him the hundred bucks and I'm like, that's on you, dad. Yeah, that ain't got nothing That's to do on you. Me. Don't even ask me for that back. Yeah. And then to this day, my dad's like, you know, I still own part of your Cadillac, right. son. So yeah. That's his claim I mean, he fame. owes a hundred bucks of every Cadillac till you pay it back. Yeah. Yeah. And he, that's how I see it. He owns a percentage of every yeah, Cadillac I've ever Every single car that you have, really. Because yeah. I actually have them thanks to him. Yeah. He gave me the Cadillac sickness. Yeah. Gave you the sickness. Yeah. My dad, my grandfather, and my uncles, everyone drove Cadillacs. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, I was like, well, that's... Ain't nothing like a Cadillac, Cadillac right? Nothing better. Ain't nothing like a Cadillac. You can say whatever you think your car's... Nothing's like a Cadillac. Yeah, yeah. That's any Any GM product, right? Let's be honest. Uh, I mean, Chevy, Caddy, I'm a, all... I'm a diehard Chevy GM product guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't... I don't... I don't... Um, yeah, GM, Chevy, it's all... I, I can't lie, though. There's nothing like a big body Benz. That, the feeling those cars driving those, I got to give little Benz a shot out. It's something, something to drive. I mean, that's a, it, it is a, it they're, is a they're luxury. They're quite elegant yeah. cars. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. when they break, fuck them. Fuck yeah. you, Mercedes. Yeah, because God damn it. <laughs> yeah, you get them <laughs> bills and you're like, oof. Are like, fuck. Not the business whatsoever. No. Um, do you see yourself ever quitting the union to do Cruiser Brand full-time? Can you make that happen do you think uh i see it as a possibility 100 percent. but uh i'm not gonna lie dude i love my job too like i really enjoy my job and i mean not to mention everything that comes with it as far as being paid and the benefits and everything else and luckily for me is like i can take a show for six months and i don't have to work the rest of the year you know, I have that luxury of where I can cho pick and choose my job, my show, and do that. So, do I have to? No. Could I? Yes, for sure. But it's, uh, I don't need to. Well, I mean, I want to, I want to get to the point where, um, where I can fucking not work anymore either. Yeah. Doing this podcast is is really fucking dope. I mean, obviously, I got fucking stories for days, and that's why. Oh people, yeah, that's can. why people tune in to to, yeah. to watch right to the the gory fucking stories yeah. and shit like that. Um, but um, yeah, man, I you know you get tired of seeing motherfuckers dead all the goddamn time, you know. Yeah, that probably gets old. I fucking I'm sure. I I did this dude, and and I laugh about it all the time. Um, you, I do you did a dude? I did a dude again. Or this I mean, just game. last night for Christ. It's Vegas. What happens in Vegas? State. Oh shit. Okay. Are we recording? Oh. Are, are we recording? Fuck. Does motherfuckers know this shit? Yeah. Oh. oh. All right. Let's yeah. change the subject. Oh. Anyways, do it, dudes. Yeah. No big deal. Yeah, brother. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I did this guy, man. He committed suicide uh, right there by your pad over there in uh, Cash Steak. Uh -huh. And he bought a day pass. Um. Yeah, and he bought a day pass, and, and he was to the lake, to the lake, okay, and said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna park and watch these motherfuckers, you know, wakeboard or whatever he did, and you, you know, probably building up the courage to go ahead and fucking do it." Yeah, and, uh, I remember, I remember getting there, and and I remember the the cop telling me, "Bro, this is pretty gnarly. You're never gonna believe this shit." And so uh, I look, and he shows me the suicide note, and the fucking this. I tell this story to this day, and when I tell it to people, they fucking lose their mind. I still get people that send me pictures of shit. But he said in here, um, I'm using DeWalt 
because Milwaukee's for pussies. And he took the fucking skill salt to the DeWalt and fucking... Uh, and then his fucking neck was like a Pac-Man. Well, well, hold on. He said Milwaukee's for pussies. DeWalt? I'm using DeWalt because Milwaukee's for pussies. I mean, shout out to DeWalt for fucking... I mean, he should have killed himself. I'm a, duty, I'm a fucking Milwaukee guy You're a Milwaukee guy. Myself, guy. So. But listen, so he has Had kids. he used a Milwaukee, would have been done faster. Would have done... Uh, yeah, maybe. Shout out Milwaukee M18 Fuel. I'm yes, just saying. there you go. <laughs> um, he uh, he had kids. That's crazy. Had a girl, right? But not like, hey man, sorry kids, I'm doing this. Hey man, sorry for for the fucked up shit I've done. Whatever it is, right? Yeah. This is what you say, and I kid you not. Um, I got a text yesterday from this girl Dana that used to work for me. Uh-huh. Uh, cool man. Shout out to Dana. She's good people. She uh, <clears throat> does her own baking store now, but she. Um, she sends me a picture and it's a fucking Milwaukee display and just puts LOL. Jesus. Dude, we laugh about it all the time, but like what a fucked up way to go, right? Like that's cutting your fucking neck back to where you look like Pac-Man. To, I mean, in my industry, a lot of guys cut their fingers off. Like it's a normal thing. Now, yeah. Right? Like a lot of guys, but to put a fucking skill saw to your neck. I mean, you gotta be kind of really fucked yeah. up, dude. You know, I, I just, I don't understand suicide. I just, and then you tell these stories. I'm like, God, you got to be in a fucking bad place or a dark spot. Like, you know, I, here's the thing, man. And you see that every day. Like, yeah. Right. That's so fuck, you got to be fucked up, man. You know, suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Yeah. Um, and I just think that sometimes people get in these bad places and they just want the help. They, they're embarrassed to ask. They don't know how to ask. They don't know, um, they just don't know what to fuck to do. And then yeah. they think, well, I'm just going to do it. And then they do it. And I don't think they realize how much, um, how much it bothers them. Yeah. Right. Like how much does it bother people that have to clean it? Police, fire, corner, fucking family, your parents, family, kids. teachers, kids. I mean, fuck it affects me. so much. Yeah. And, um, it is a, cowardly act because you are you are leaving act. so many fucking people behind yeah. that that's the issue right um very selfish very selfish man for like, sure. god damn bro i mean I, I don't understand it i can't i can't speak much on it but i mean i got a wife i got kids i would never like want to do that to my kids or leave them behind or leave them that trauma or whatever yeah. Right. Life's, life's too good, dude. Yeah. Life's too good. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, I just, I, I just don't get it. I really just don't understand it, but it's not, it's no different than you and I agreeing about something and then somebody else not agreeing with it. Right. Yeah. It's I kind mean, of the same premises, right. Right. Yeah. To where we're like, I don't understand it, yeah. but fuck it. Right. But remember the good old days when you could have a conversation with somebody and go, Hey man, I don't like X, Y, and Z. And they go, I like X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Doesn't mean we're not friends, right? Yeah. We're still friends. Yeah. We just, just you can now, disagree. Now, fucking motherfuckers <clears throat> are all about it. If you don't agree with me, you're a fucking racist. You're, you're a racist. This, you're, you're that. Yeah, you like Brogert. <sighs> yeah. I mean, that shit's good. Dude. Uh, <laughs> What's wrong with the Brogert? <laughs> no, so flavorful. Right, right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, different time now. Yeah, crazy, right? I like, don't want to get into that. Very it's, sensitive. Oh, Hyper sensitive. Yeah, I don't know if yeah. that's a word, but I like it. I'm gonna use it. Yeah, hyper sensitive. Hyper. Yeah, that's it's a word. Yeah, yeah. I just. Yeah, it's like my them. wiener when guys walk by. <laughs> yeah, sensitive. Like right after you pee. You're yeah, like, hyper sensitive. Oh, hypersensitive. <laughs> after you shoot your load, don't touch it. Ooh. Ooh. Hyper sensitive. Oh, oh, oh. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Um, hashtag hypersensitive. Hashtag. <laughs> that's oh, you just created it. <laughs> oh, I like it. Oh, that's great. Um, so. Do me a favor. Let's let everybody know where they can find you before we wrap this fucking thing up. Oh, uh, my personal social media is G Nasty Instagram. Um, that's all I use. G yeah. underscore Nasty, <laughs> also known as Big Horny. Big Horny. <laughs> if you know me, you know why. Right. Uh, and then the company Cruiser Brand at Cruiser Brand or CruiserBrand.com. Um, our website up and running ready yeah to go. yeah and um uh when when people see this um 
this podcast, they can, you have the promo code. Did you guys set that up yet where you said you were going to set it up? I don't have a promo code. Um, actually, I have one that I gave it all to my friends and family, Homie 10 for the Homie discount. Homie 10. So Homie 10. Get homie, get the Homie Use 10. Homie 10, get the Homie uh, discount. So can you make one that is dying to see me and they get 15 just to make me feel good? Like everybody gets 10, but we need 15. All right, we'll make one. You make one? Uh, so you heard it first, everybody. Uh, D2SM. D2, D2 D2SM. SM. That's it. That's it. 15% off. 15. For you and yep. your viewers. For two weeks only. Two weeks, yeah. Fucking get no, it fuck while it. you we'll get do it. do it for a month. Do it for a month, he no, says. Hey, oh, do it for the kids. Forget the about kids. it, he says. All of a sudden, he's fucking <laughs> Italian. <laughs> we'll do it for a month. Why not? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, thanks, Gabe, man. I Man, yeah. I, I, I appreciate it. You and I have been friends a long fucking time. Yeah. You and I would connect really well on this thing. I, I knew it would uh, I knew it would fucking rock out with your cock out. I, uh, I see us doing this some more. Yeah, no, 100%. I see us like having someone else here and we're yeah, just yeah listen don't don't try to weasel in on my shit okay and then well, uh, we're gonna do the uh, <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah uh, um you can always find us here at uh dying to see me we are on um all major tiktok instagram uh youtube um we are uh sponsored by sterile pros llc which is the crime scene cleaning company that i own um trying to get gabe to do a little sponsorship with yeah. some cruiser brand. We'll do a little something. We'll get a little, a little, so- we'll get a little cruiser brand yeah, sponsorship. Yeah, a little going. sponsorship. You see, I had to wear the hat today. Yeah, so. yeah. That's a custom. Uh, that's that's custom. custom. That's one off. So can't, yeah. There's Cord- only, red. There's only two of those. Corduroy. And you have one. Who has the other one? Vince, my partner. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to rock mine all the time. Yeah. Let's, let's make it happen. That's so. about a $700 yeah. hat. Look for us every that. Wednesday. <laughs> we will uh, be dropping uh, new episodes. Um, also, if you have any questions that you want me to answer on the air about uh, different crime scenes and shit um go ahead and put them in the comments of the um of the podcast or email us at dying to see me at gmail.com fuck yeah yeah fuck yeah it's tired yeah we'll see you guys next week yeah later